three lines of text in ChatGPT. That's all it takes to uncover your competitor's secrets and find out how to outsell them. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. I'm Archie Grass, founder of AI Branding Academy, and I'm going to show you today how to use ChatGPT's search function in order to do competitor research. Now, you can do tons of different types of research, and that's actually one of the most effective ways you could use AI in order to increase your productivity. No more searching through Google, no more trying to vet information through a bunch of different uh, articles that list the top 20 whatevers. Uh, all you have to do is ask ChatGPT to do the research for you, and then you could drive uh, a little bit deeper down into the prompt and learn exactly how to use the information to enhance your business. So let's go ahead and open ChatGPT and get to work. All right. For today, we're using the easy competitor research uh, prompt that we have on the website. I'm going to include this in the description as well if you want to find it there. Uh, but it's pretty simple. It's uh, make a list of the top 10 companies in the put your industry in your location, then list at least five competitive advantages of each company in bullet points. Finally, create a summary of how to a sales professional could compete against these companies with their company's offerings. So uh, pretty simple, but there are some key aspects that make this an effective prompt. Uh, Number one, I said, how many I want. Uh, if you leave it open-ended, there could be 100, there could be five, there could be one. Uh, it's all over the place. So you want to specify exactly how much information you want. Uh, number two is I included my industry and my location. Uh, these are factors. Maybe the location might not be if you're a global company, but for most companies, uh, if you put a location, you're going to get much better results because honestly, who cares what a company that may be local, say a landscaper in uh, you know California, if I'm in Texas, it, it just isn't a very way, good way to uh, get effective answers. Uh, and then I also specified exactly uh, how I want it described. So I said, list at least five competitive advantages of each company. I want to know what makes them effective. And so they'll literally just research the information online and pull data uh, to tell you exactly what makes these companies effective. Probably. It's not interviewing the CEO or anything, uh, but it's pulling from all the publicly held information that it has available in order to give you an answer. In this case, I just said five competitive advantages. So you could, uh, you know, see how it matches up with your brand or your offering. And then finally, uh, create a summary of how a sales professional could compete against these companies with their company's offering. Now, you could go a little bit deeper and actually paste, uh, say, what your company offers. Uh, or you could say, hey, compare those with my website, which may have my services or products on it. Um, but this gives you some idea of what a sales professional could do to compete against these companies. And then you could, of course, modify your offering or your pitch in order to accommodate that. So let's go ahead and try this prompt out. You're going to pull up chatgpt.com. Again, I walked through uh, some of the different facets uh, yesterday, uh, and I'll try to expand on that. Uh, each day. Uh, you know, in this case, there's a few different tools. Uh, search the web is the function we're going to be using, but just know that it does that function automatically. I don't have to put search the web uh, <laughs> in order to get that to work. It'll use the tool that makes the most sense for the prompt. So don't stress out too much about, uh, you know, specifics on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. And in this case, I mentioned landscapers. So I'm just going to use that as our example today. So I'm going to say enter industry, residential landscaping and I'm going to put my location as Texas and that's it now we're going to just run the prompt now, again, uh, how AI uses information, it does have a data set where basically it knows the internet uh, for, say, the last 10 years. Uh, but this is actually a newer capability where it can actually search the internet, uh, which actually makes it a lot more effective. Now, there are other AI tools we'll talk about, like uh, Anthropic's uh, Claude, uh, which we'd like to use for content generation, but it can't search the internet. So not all AI can search the internet, uh, but the ones that I use personally for research are uh, ChatGPT, uh, elicit.com and then perplexity.ai. Uh, so those are the, the main ones. And we'll talk about them in later videos uh, regarding research. But this is your introduction to research. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and see what it found. So here are some top residential landscaping companies in Texas, along with their competitive advantages. Uh, Integrity Residential Services, LLC, specializes in transforming outdoor spaces with services like rock installations, flagstone pathways, and waterfalls, known for their collaborative approach, turning client visions into reality. Structure Landscapes offers 20 years of experience in landscape design and construction with a reputation for punctuality and thorough cleanup. Provides personalized designs tailored to client preferences. 
Uh, and so you start to get an idea. Now, <laughs> you can see it didn't listen to my instructions. It was supposed to include five bullet points for each. And this is another factor of AI. It's not perfect, and it won't always do what you say. And so in this case, it didn't list the five competitive advantages. You could just tell it, say, uh, I wanted the five competitive advantages for each vendor. And most of the time, it'll say, sorry, I screwed up. And there you go. So now it's going to do it. So now I have integrity residential. So I'll just list the information and that does it uh, right this time. Uh, and that's, that's kind of just how AI works sometimes. It doesn't always listen. And that's why we do something that I'll introduce tomorrow called prompt series, where you have a set of prompts that you'll do in a row in order to get the result that you want. But today, just tell it to do better. <laughs> and most of the time it will. So here you have expertise in hardscaping, client-centered approach, highly rated customer service. Uh, here you have experience, high-end design, efficient workflow, innovative landscape design, flexible client collaboration, blah, 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 blah. And then at the very bottom, and actually it's uh, still going because it's still doing the 10. Uh, most of the time, this does take a little bit of time. You may say a minute. Um, but you know, if you think of how long it would take you to do a Google search and then find the ones you want, uh, it, this one prompt has already saved you maybe hours or days of research that you have spent uh, doing the same thing manually. And then again, it does this cool part, which is sales professional strategy to compete. And so it says to compete against these established companies, a sales professional can focus on the following, highlight specialized expertise, offer cost-effective packages, emphasize local knowledge, deliver exceptional customer service, and leverage digital tools. So that's all very helpful. Now, you could I, I'm kind of interested in how this information is categorized. Like, what are the commonalities between the top vendors? So let's go ahead and ask that. What are the uh, three top commonalities between the competitors? And so now you're telling it to, okay, review that information. Tell me what's, what are the three things that are common between all of these 10 different vendors? Uh, comprehensive end-to-end -end services, very useful. Uh, customization and personalization, very useful. And finally, strong reputation and expertise, kind of obvious, but still useful. So if I'm a landscaper and I want to compete with these companies that seem to be successful online, uh, here's what I need to do. I need to you know, have a full comprehensive approach. I need to allow for customization and I need to make sure that I have a reputation that's good. And then now I'm competitive. So now with this, I could say uh, my company has all three of those. Please create an offer and pitch uh, to sell to the customers that these vendors serve. Now, this is an important factor of AI where don't just leave it as it is. You could dive as far deep as you want. It's not a program. So the way the difference between AI and software, typical software, is that software is limited. It can only do certain things, and the user has to stay in the parameters of the program. AI is the, the flop. <laughs> it's the exact opposite, where it has no limitations, and therefore the user doesn't have to comply with anything, and I could just ask as many questions as I want. So you get a lot more freedom with AI versus typical software that you've usually had. So let's see what it generated. So offer the total transformation package, tagline, custom landscape, seamless service, unmatched expertise. This package combines all the elements customers expect from top landscaping companies with unique differentiators that elevate their experience. And then it gives you details of the offer, personalized design consultation, turnkey project management, exclusive perks, lifetime customer value program. And here's a pitch to customers. Are you tired of cookie cutter landscaping solutions that fall short of your vision? At Austin Landscaping, we understand that your outdoor space is more than just a yard. It's an extension of your lifestyle. That's why we go beyond the basics with our total transformation package to deliver custom design, seamless service, and expertise that guarantee results. So that sounds pretty awesome. You know, if, you, if I sat down and wrote something, I'd say, oh, pretty decent copy right there. And it doesn't know anything about my business. Now, if I wanted to up-level it, I could just put my website in and say, hey, here's my website. Here's what we currently do. Make a pitch for this that's going to compete with the competitors. And boom, now you have something useful. So 
uh, that's that's as easy as it gets, and you could keep on going further. So we'll keep on going in these, but I want to give you uh, kind of you know how to run an effective prompt, and then also how to query on that prompt and get even better results. And I'll include this uh, in the uh, description as well. I'll share you know this actual transcription so you could see exactly how I did it uh, in order to make yours just as effective. All right, so there you have it. So yesterday we talked about a very simple prompt. Today we talked about what I call a research prompt uh, and how to query on that research prompt. And this is how AI works. It's not supposed to be, hey, I ask one question and I get an answer and we're all done. It's, hey, I ask a question and that leads to more questions and it leads to a dialogue. So the best way to think about using AI versus a traditional program is, is talking to a person. And I know that sounds weird and it sounds threatening to humanity. It's not. It's just an effective computer program uh, in reality that knows a lot of information and it's going to save you a ton of time. If I wanted to do what I just did, which was research 10 different companies uh, in a specific area, come up with the competitive advantages for each company, then create uh, a package and a pitch for uh, competing with those companies, you're talking about a professional spending you know, hours and hours or even days or even weeks maybe to produce all of that information. I just did it during this video. So you can too. Uh, go ahead and run the prompt and let me know how it goes. And tomorrow we're going to go a little bit deeper and go into what we call a prompt series, which is a, a, a series of prompts that you'll do one after the other that will build on the answers that are provided by AI. So again, very effective and very easy easy to use. So let me go let me I'm good to do that. So let me know how it goes. And uh, if you can, post a result. I, I love to hear you know, just how effective uh, that these can be. And, and you might learn something amazing about your industry that could really help you increase your sales. So consider that and uh, do the work because it's, it's so easy and it ends up being fun. And I want you to have fun.